When they asked Jesus what was the greatest commandment, he said to love God with all your heart and soul and mind and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. This is Reverend Jerry Zare of the Carmel Christian Church on Main Street. Jerry has a passion for interfaith work and is the president of the Carmel Interfaith Alliance, whose goal is to work alongside Muslim, Jewish, and Hindu congregations. For the last podcast of the semester, I am Xavier Coca. When I was in high school, I had friends who were um, Unitarian, friends who were um, from different backgrounds, and again, as I heard my minister telling me they were going to go to hell, I didn't buy it because I saw their heart and I saw them living out wonderful ways of the teachings of Christ as far as loving and caring and being compassionate. And so I, I didn't understand it, but I, I, uh, I felt like they were children of God too. When Jerry graduated college with a degree in speech and theater, he left for California and didn't attend church for the time being. But he knew all along that something was missing. I wanted to be uh, and talk with people about the deeper parts of their life. I, in fact, found a lot of the entertainment business to be pretty artificial and kind of, um, oh, very, very tough. Uh, and just to keep your character and, and your morals a lot of times. Jerry feels as though Christianity can be easy to misunderstand, which might cause some people to turn their back on the church. I think there's a a misconception that all Christians believe like Pat Robertson or some of the TV preachers who are very judgmental and exclusive. And so I know a lot of people who say, I I don't want to have anything to do with the church because um, I just hear these TV preachers who slam gay people and slam... um, you know, all these other religions, when in fact, there are many Christians, I think, who uh, see a much broader view of God, and that we see uh, living out the teachings of Jesus as a Christian is to be in relationship and care for one another. Throughout his career, Jerry has seen the positivity that his work reflects play out in the community. He wants to see people find their way towards God, but he emphasizes the idea that they need to come to their own conclusions. You don't give them the answers because everybody has to find their own answers, but that you walk on the journey with them and help them, support them, and see them grow in their faith. There were people who were mentors in my life who I would not be who I was today without those mentors. Since Jerry has devoted a large portion of his life to interfaith work, he firmly believes that coexisting is not only possible, but it's the way to go. It it is growing, it's better. We're seeing a better appreciation of people. There was a time when Catholics and Protestants wouldn't even talk with one another. I mean, there was a time when uh, you couldn't marry if you weren't Catholic. You could not marry a Protestant, let alone somebody who's Jewish, you know. There was a time when there were wars between, you know, over in Ireland between Christians and Protestants. And so we've we've come a long way in that we're getting better. Yes, there are still wars, but it's but the religious leaders are slowly stepping up, I think, speaking out, and we're seeing wonderful ways of joining together and working together. True peace will come when we can learn to love and coexist and respect one another. According to Reverend Jerry Zare of the Carmel Christian Church, we should all love and treat our neighbors the same way we would like to be treated. He also points out that this ideology is something that's not unique to Christians. As stated in the Quran, whatever good they do, they will not be denied it by God, and God knows who the righteous are. All religions, all people are, are, are of God. And so for those people who say that Christians are the only way to heaven, or you have to be a Christian to go to heaven, I think is very short-sighted and narrow. One, we don't know the mind of God, so who are we to judge those other people? Two, I have a hard time believing that three-quarters of the world who aren't like us are going to go to hell. I just want to encourage people to be on the journey. Um, God is the creator of all of life, and sometimes it's hard to wrap our minds around that, but we know, I believe that we are spiritual. There's something in our heart inside of us. When we listen to our conscience, it tells us, 
Be on the journey of that foundation in your life. Ask questions, seek things. And just because you don't have the answers, don't give up. Um, because when we continue to uh, seek understandings of truth, it isn't in the material world. It really is in the deepest parts of our heart that will give us meaning in our life.